Here's just a quick follow-up video with the door. We got it painted obviously on time. The spray job came out really nice. Cutting in went smooth. Couple coats of this yellow. Everything else was blacked out. Actually, it was left over for the most part from using it as the store. Um, we just changed the the edges here. Uh, we ended up with a uh, house number and some other things to make sure that you knew it was outside. I wanted the door obviously to open in appropriately unlike the hotel doors which would have opened out under certain circumstances that kind of changes looks like we pulled a little paint here uh, from just being all green um, which means uncured despite the fact that it's also green um, and being closed kind of the same day but uh, we had this like sheer that we added to the back and then we had a holiday wreath and then we had this kind of spring wreath like we were saying to indicate different you know the passage of time and we wanted it to be outdoors for sure so i ended up wanting this kind of townhouse um or village kind of mailbox and i knew i wanted something like this but we didn't just go buy it i actually ran down to the basement and found this plastic bin and i just um you could just spray paint it to do this faux finish i did a couple colors but i used adhesion promoter on this first just so that the paint uh, would stay for the future and then i ran down to facilities and they had some steel i think these are um, braces for racking protection and like metal shelving but if you can see back here this was the most technical part of building this in a matter of 30 or 40 minutes was getting the steel to stick to this or whatever be a part of this plastic bin which is probably HDPE or polypropylene anyway two quick slices with my oscillating tool on two situations um, and I was careful to cut the same length of steel and bend it kind of the best I could and then send it until it stopped on this which created you know a pretty symmetrical you know, I could tweak it a little bit, bend it around. But then we just rolled up, you know, a newspaper and put it in there to finalize the look. And uh, we'll, we may use this mailbox again sometime. But the important part is that we had that nice uh, custom awning color, that green that I had already made for the show. Uh, we had enough left to do this, and it came out really nice. We've got a ton of mileage out of these doors. If I, if I would change something in the future, I would get the same reveal up, across, and down. That would also create a heavier box beam out of plywood. This is a three-quarter inch plywood box beam. Um, you know, I created the front, the back, and then put the edges in, which keeps the door opening square. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but we have a little bit of a issue there you can see through but anyway it would improve upon that but the point was that you'd have a door frame that you could take anywhere whether it was open or closed and there wouldn't be a threshold and the the double doors are the same way these are hollow core so you know this white that i painted is actually after i cut a hole our own hole through a solid slab hollow core door it just had the hollow edges here with the honeycomb cardboard that's all that's in there so you know we trimmed it with wood and that has given it some substance, but also given us, you know, what looks like uh, a finished opening and stuff like that. So you could do that and you could cut the opening. You can do a full light, half, obviously, you know, you could do a little thing up here and do that yourself rather than buying the door. This is just an interior door. You know, I, I certainly wouldn't hang an exterior door, or spend a lot of money on it. The lightest weight door is going to give you the easiest time. Uh, with this whole thing overall and then storing it on a smooth floor upright and not twisted which is what happened to this in the first couple of years so there now you can see the hole through the top which i think is a lot to do with um it still works but it just i think if it was a little heavier across the top it'd be cool then both of these have transom sections that were additional so you could use like we did this year within something else as a facade or you could just put the transom on it and keep it out and around like itself, you know, on its own. This works just fine like that, but with the addition of the transom window and some crown molding across, or, you know, around the top, it really gives it some um, gravitas or, or, or style, or whatever you want to call that. It's just because we have all this headroom anyway. And, um, you know, and it gives you another opportunity to change the look of that and give the impression of a different sort of a building um, or, or, or construction style. Anyway, happy with this too. And everything else is waiting to be torn down today's strike, so we're going to start tearing things apart. Thanks for watching. We'll see you.